Welcome back. Tom Samuel joining us for Tech Talk this afternoon. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing well, thank you. I haven't seen you in weeks, maybe a month. Yeah, we've been kind of missing our weeks here. That's right, holidays galore. You've been on vacation, galore. I've been gone. Yeah. Well, welcome back to the show. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about uh, something that we all need to think about. I mean, we go and spend all this money on a TV. Yeah. Uh, you know, hundreds and hundreds of dollars, so depending on how big of a size you get. And then uh, you sort of don't really pay attention to the fact that you want to mount it properly, you want to hang it on the wall, or you want to have it on a bracket. Yeah. Uh, making the right choice is that that's sort of like the finishing touch on, as to how much you're going to enjoy your TV. It is. And uh, I've seen some pretty interesting things out there for what <laughs> people have come up with. Right. Homemade stuff. And what people don't realize is some Sometimes you lose the integrity. Yeah, it's not able to hold that weight distribution. It actually does affect your TV, the life of your TV, because uh, little minute cracks happen inside and outside, and, and things don't last as, like they should. Any stories of them falling off the wall? Oh yeah, really. <laughs> we get lots of people of coming in, and and not just that, but um, not so much that, but not putting the right uh, stand with it, and not being able to hold the weight, or somebody knocks it over because it's not placed correctly, etc. Okay, uh, we have some pictures here. I'm not sure if now's a good time to throw to them. What are we taking Well, a people at remember here? those big things that used to take up half our living room, right? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> for example, something like that. Um, <laughs> people used to come in and, and measure out how, how much of a TV to buy to fit into that space. Mm -hmm. Now, they've evolved into more modern looking furniture um, and it hides all your cables and you can still put your knickknacks out there. Uh, this is one where you don't have to put it on the wall. Uh, it has comes with a mount that's made into it, so you mm -hmm. don't have to drill into the wall. So if you're worried about falling off the wall, etc., um, there's lots of other pieces of equipment uh, with like French doors or uh, places for your DVDs or CD collection, etc. And it still looks really uh, streamlined and very, very uh, nice. This is an articulating mount. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually move your TV around with it. Um, this is a, a mount where your TV actually comes up from underneath, so it's hidden. It looks like a, um, the end of a bed. There it is there. And it just comes right up out of the bed. Comes out of the bed. Love it. Uh, it's built into your bed. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's lots of other uh, advancements in uh, technology with brackets and mounts. They're able to hold that weight like we said. They're able to be stabilized and it hides all your wiring, which I like. How hard are brackets to put on the wall? You know, like the kind that you have that can potentially like swing right out off of the, the wall? I would definitely get a professional to put something like that in because you don't want to be fooling around. You definitely want to be finding two studs on either side and make sure it's solid and uh, no playing around with this type of stuff. Right. And you know, you can make it look so much cleaner if you do it in a wireless way or you, you have those wires hidden behind or however. Yes, yes exactly. Uh, the convenient factor is there and it makes it look good too. And like you saw, a lot of the newer furniture goes with stuff in your house. So mm -hmm. it goes along with the, the stuff that you already have. We have, we have some else video. Show. Yeah. Is this sort of the retro stuff? Or? This is the newer no, stuff the called newer the flip stuff. round. See that looks like a picture frame, but when you pull it out and flip it over, there's your TV Come and all the wires on. are hidden on this side. What? Okay, what's on both sides? Is it a TV on both? Oh, it's nope, a frame? just a picture frame. Picture. So when you're not using it, it just looks like a picture frame. Wow. There's also something called the extended flip out. This thing's really cool. If you want a bedroom TV and you like breakfast in bed while watching TV, etc., it flips out and the TV's on the back side so you can still see everything. Where do you buy this stuff? <laughs> we can uh, we have a, a line on on companies that can get you stuff like this. That's and, crazy. And uh, and all the other furniture and brackets that you saw before except for the older version which took up half your living room. Wow, those are good ones. Like them. They, those yeah. look like they might be a bit expensive. Those are, those are definitely <laughs> a little bit more on the expensive yeah. side, and you definitely want to have those installed professionally. Absolutely, you do. You don't want that coming down on your bed, yeah. on you, lying in your bed. All right, well, lots of great options out there. People should come in and talk to you guys about it. Yeah, you bet. We'll, yeah. Uh, we'll let them know what suits their style and what, what suits their house. Exactly. All right, yeah. Tom Samuel, thank you for being here today. You're very welcome. If you have any questions for Andre's information is on the screen. You may want to make sure you get your TV set up properly. We're back in two minutes. Stay with us.